in the first qualifying session, the car went down the track at about 300 miles an hour, blew a tire out and disintegrated. First thing I remember is I woke up and the guy was telling me, hey, we're gonna, you're gonna go for a helicopter ride. And I said, oh, I always wanted to go for a helicopter ride. About 75% of this job you, you, is getting along with other people, living with them on the road, you room with them, you travel with them. I was a kid, I always wanted to work on cars, engines, anything that would go fast, anything with speed. And he was more like, yeah, you can't do that. Why are you wasting your time? And I was like, you know what? I know I can. When I get backed into a corner and get pushed really hard, that's when I really do the best. Because I mean, I dig down deep inside and you find everything that you got and you pull it out when you have to. And I think that's probably the biggest difference between a good driver and a really great driver. They are little monsters. They're the most severe of any any engine in motorsports, and we've tried every, virtually every chemical under the sun. And nitromethane is the only one that's made this kind of power. It's hard to get in the car and to completely quit thinking about everything for maybe only 10 seconds. You might be in the car for 20 minutes, but it might be 10 seconds to maybe 100 seconds that you can't think about anything else besides that race car. And you can't get distracted by anything else. You can't get distracted by a light or the guy in the other lane or a noise or whatever. It's, it's really hard if you think about it. You like to see a big yellow flame. When it turns to a blue or a green, eh, it's usually not very good. It's usually burning stuff up, so you know. <laughs> I worked in a desk job for three years and you know, how do you compare that to this? You know? This is the, probably the coolest job in the world for me right here. When you're driving these race cars 330 miles an hour, you can't be scared of them. Uh, you've got to have a respect for it. I don't really have a hero. I mean, there's so many people, you really can't pick out one person to, uh, to call as a hero. Actually, it's all personal satisfaction. It's what you can do to make yourself a hero. Huh? I, I think when you don't succeed, it just makes you more determined to work harder and to make sure that the next weekend you're going to go out, you're going to the races. And, and I go to every race believing that I'm going to win. And if I don't win, it's a disappointment. Hopefully we can continue on and just win more races. That's, that's my plan.